Hey there guys, the professor here with a great nature deck profile. I was here or I gave you guys one about a year ago. It was Tester Fox, and now you're about to get another one. This time Big Belly. So to start off the list, oh, before I, I go into details about that, you guys were asking for a list from the video. I was the person who played in the video. I got rolled because variants. But like, uh, shut the fuck up, Ben. <laughs> so, um, the deck is built differently, and this isn't a final build, but I, I'm pretty confident with this one right now, and I'm going to use it at ARG tomorrow, so here's hoping for some good luck. To start, four, Famous Professor, Big Belly. No! Favorite card in the deck, favorite card in the game, Avatar, if you will, and he is just really, really good. He's the reason why the deck works. A lot of the cards need Big Belly in their name. You can barely see that. There you go. Really good. You need, in order to use use the deck, you need a lot of the... Um, there, you need his name to uh, get a lot of the skills off. His skill, Generation Break 2. Whenever he attacks a Vanguard, you can choose one of your rear guards, give it 4k, a and a draw before it, you lose it at the end of the turn. Then, you um, can counter blast one when you stride to choose up to two units currently on the field, give them plus 4,000 power and till the end of the turn. And then, if they are in the same column as a, in a successful attack against a vanguard, you draw a card. You could stack that effect and make it two. It's pretty, it's pretty good. An interesting tech card that you guys might not see in other decks is that I play two Ink Panda. So the thing about New Great Nature is that you have two different types of rearguard units. You have the units who want to give other units abilities like extra power, draws, retires. Then you have units that want to be targeted by those because they're going to end up duping themselves anyways. In this instance, Ink Panda. He is one the reason why I'm choosing to play him over more Tuskmasters, which I play the one, um, is because he really likes being targeted by units like Grey Belly and it Crayon Tiger makes things a little less awkward when trying to play him. Uh, whenever he attacks a Vanguard, if he's in successful state, you may uh, draw a card, and then if you do, it re you retire the unit. So he's going to be retired at the end of the turn, whether you do anything or not, if you target him with Grey Belly or Crayon Tiger, so it's really nice to have. Then, as you saw, you've got one singular Tuskmaster. Now, some of you would probably play three Tuskmaster and uh, Big Belly with him, but um, the reason why I'm playing two Ink Panda and only one Tuskmaster is, as I said, you have your units that want to target, you have the units that to be targeted. Tuskmaster is one of those units that want to target, or wants to target things. And you have a lot of those, and then whenever you continue getting those, it begins to clump a little bit. You definitely want more units that want to target than units that um, want to be targeted. However, um, one doesn't hurt because it's searchable through Mikasabra. On to grade twos. First and most importantly, for Cran Tiger. Great Nature, this is our new staple. It's been out for a year now and it strikes the terror in many people's hearts. It's so funny because he's so adorable. Uh, whenever he's boosted and attacks a Vanguard Counter Blast 1, choose a unit, stand it, 4k, draw a card, and then it dies at the end of turn. It makes so many things work for your deck. It's too fabulous not to play. A new card introduced in the Technical Booster, I play three copies of, and that's Problem Child, Grey Belly. He's definitely the Problem Child, because he can be a little awkward for you to play sometimes. However, 
I assure you, if you play him well, he'll be more of a nuisance for your opponent than you. What he does, he Soul Blast 1 when he attacks if he's in a successful state. Choose up to two units, give him plus 4k power, and then you draw a card for each. That's two cards, guys. That can add up with draws that you get throughout the turn from Big Belly's skill. Oh, he also needs a Big Belly uh, name in order to do it. So it's very important that you get Big Belly. Uh, but, yes. Grey Belly is incredible. I then run three tape here. He's a very versatile unit. I was talking about those two units that are two types of units, ones that want to be targeted, ones that target. He can play as both. The reason why you would want to target him is because he carries resist. That immediately puts Kagura on the bench, Mega Colony on the bench. Why? All, er, Link Joker on the bench. You definitely still have to play smart in order to get around these clans. Like, I, I'm still struggling with the Mega Colony matchup. But, he definitely helps. He's, his resist makes him sticky, so he's easier to target with Big Belly's skill. And with Dismal, you just absolutely cannot touch him. Finally, the last two Grade 2 units that I play... Two Malicious Saber. It is... He is a 12k attacker at Generation Break. Target him with Big Belly skill, put him at 16. Give him 8k, puts him at 24. Give him a 7k booster behind. That's... That's 31. 31 without triggers is absolutely insane. This guy is insane. So that's my grade 2 lineup, on to grade 1's. Perfect shield that I play, Shellmaster. The technical booster gave us a new perfect shield, Tie Roller Cat. I like to call him Butthole Cat because he has one of those classical X's on his ass. But um, you definitely want to play Shellmaster just because this deck can be very counter blast heavy and there's no real good way of fitting it in your counter charges. So, shell, so having that in a perfect shield is marvelous. He also makes for a good ride because you can soul blast him and all of a sudden you have a uh, turtle in the drop zone and you're playing with only three shell masters but at the same time you're also going to be able to counter charge when you please. Good, good stuff. I then play four Stride Fodder. Stride Fodder is an essential staple in any deck, um, especially in a deck where the Strider is prominent. Mini Belly searches out Big Belly. Very important to play four of. Now the next unit came out in a technical booster. And I play him at three. It's Scholarship Student Airy Belly. Now I gotta tell you guys, when this card first came out, I did not like him. I thought that him being so sticky made it to where you wouldn't be able to play flexible or be flexible in uh, matchups like Kagero. Well, not really Kagero, more like. Um, Mega Colony and Link Joker. That was definitely a terrifying thought. But after playing him in practice, the fact that he combos so well with Grey Belly, for you to put a skill on him to draw a card and then you don't lose him by battle is incredible. His other skill is Generation Break 1, Soul Blast, to give a unit with success plus 4,000 power that it's boosting. It has to be boosting the success unit until the end of battle and then you retire it. But you don't really use that because Soul Blasts are already so contested for by Grey Belly and Trimthers, which just do so much better for Soul Blast. But the fact that he's sticky is really a godsend. Definitely play him at 3, at least. You then play three copies of 
honorary assistant, Mika Sabra. And the reason why he's so important is because you need Mika Sabro to search out your grade threes. This is something that not a lot of clans have, that great nature has. It's a gift. We should almost always be able to get Big Belly with. And even though there are some times where it's like you could get a Big Belly, but you might not, it is so important to the deck that you have Big Belly on your Vanguard Circle. Like, if you think about it, Tuskmaster can't do anything on Vanguard Circle except stand a unit, which isn't terrible, but definitely a stride would be much better. And then Ink Panda is a complete vanilla on the Vanguard Circle, and that's just awful. So we really, really want to get our grade 3s in line. And that's what is here for. And to help Mikasabro do that, is our starter. Telescope Rabbit. Yep, he's an oldie but a goodie. Counter Blast 1, rest him, choose any unit or any rear guard, give it plus 4k, then it dies at the end of turn. That allows you to use Mika Sabro's skill to search for your grade 3. That's why I use him as starting. In the video, I use Alley Belly, and I want to tell you guys, Alley, not Alley Belly, uh, Little Belly. Little Belly is such a good card. But honestly, I think that the gra Grade 3 search engine, the, the Mike Rabbit engine, is too good not to pass up. Or too good to pass up. I'm sorry. Last but not least, triggers. Now, gotta say, 12 critical is pretty fantastic, and it's definitely a good option. But instead of playing 12 critical, I play 9 critical, and 3 Castanet Donkey. If Castanet Donkey were a draw trigger, this, or I'm sorry, he is a draw trigger, I'm a fucking idiot. If Castanet Donkey was a critical trigger, he would do absolutely incredible things for the deck. However, he's not, and the draw doesn't hurt too bad. But the reason why you play Cassinet Donkey is for two reasons. One, his ability to soul charge. Your soul is... It's funny. A couple months ago, Great Nature's soul, you never touched it at all. Now it is one of the most contested things in the clan. You got Hrimthurs and Greybelly, and even Airybelly, that all want to use a soul blast. And that's just... That's not good for the deck if you have no soul, so you can't do anything. Cassinet Donkey fixes that, but not only does he fix that, he gives a unit 3k power, which that pushes you towards your success. And having success online is the most important thing in the deck, and if you don't have Big Belly Stride to do it, then it becomes a little more difficult. Let me tell you guys, triggering success is harder than you think. Um... Four of the crit triggers are Pond Belly because we play a Big Belly based deck. Self explanatory. Slide into Soul, 5k, and a draw. Then, last but not least, Heal Triggers. I like the Goat. I think the Rabbit is too cutesy, and the Cat just kind of. I don't know. I never cared for the Cat. Or I don't care for the Cat. On to the G Zone. First four cards, I play four Sage Saint Professor Big Belly. This card, oh my god. Give a unit plus 4,000 power for each face up card in your G zone. That is a very easy 40k to a rear guard. Even 24k is, an, is really easy to reach. It just gives ludicrous amounts of power to rear guards. That, what? I, I, it's so great. I'm not even mad that he's not a panda dragon anymore. He also gives an on-hit skill to any unit to choose any number of units and stand them. You could even give the skill to your vanguard. So if you want to try to push um, 
a perfect shield out of your opponent's hand, or even stand an entire field. You can give that skill to your vanguard. You can give it to the really powerful rear guard and stand a column that Big Belly um, targeted with uh, the draws, so you can try to draw more cards. It gets insane. We need. It's so good. Next, I play four mana Garmir. This card is still really, really good. You would think that it would be subpar at best with the introduction of T Guardians, but this card still is still really, really mean. He, for, for one thing, he flips up the G-Zone faster to make Big Belly even more deadly. Um, but he also chooses units and gives them glory skills, and that's that's pretty impressive. I A couple minutes, like literally a couple minutes ago, I was only playing two, but I decided to put two more in because uh, it really puts a lot of pressure on your opponent, and if you go through just two and then four Big Belly, um, you're going to lose a lot of pressure, and you really want to keep that pressure on. Two Hrimthers. The one thing I do not like about Hrimthers is the Soul Blast. That's it. He's a very, very good card. Soul Blast 1 to give a unit plus 4,000 power. But then if you choose, you can give it 4,000 more, and if its power is 20k or higher at that point of time, draw a card. That triggers success so easily in this deck. It really... Your strides are your number one way to trigger success, guys. Don't forget that. Of course, if you stride with Big Belly into like a vanilla stride or whatever, and you choose to give 4k to one of your columns, you'll have 20k and success will be reached. But at the same time, you want the power to remain. And this card gets the job done. <laughs> Wanna funk? I liked playing more than one, but I never really used more than one. He's really good, and he has 11 out of 10 synergy with Grey Belly. Uh, Counter Blast 1, choose any number of units on your field and give them an Otter skill where they can't be retired by any card effect. Uh, and then um, for each card you choose, you give a Funk 4k power. I think this card would have been so much better if it gave the rear guards the 4k instead of the vanguard. But if you have a booster behind a Funk, you either get a perfect shield or you're going to get a draw. So it's a nice card to have. Sea Breeze for those pesky uh, grade 2 sitters. Really important in this deck. For that's all my strides. Now I now for my G Guardians. Play one Ardello. Um, whenever he's placed, if you have t you can sacrifice any number of units that you want, and then if you have three open rearguard circles plus ten, that's fabulous. Two Kundalini. I would personally like to play an Ardillo because 36k is nothing to gawk at, but um, the two counter charges, or the counter charges that this provides, really makes things a lot better. Dismal. Reasons protecting rearguards. So that's my deck list, guys. Um, Feel free to experiment with your own things. There are a lot of good cards that the Tech Booster introduced, like Watering Elephant is fabulous. I used it in the video. I'm not using it now because Stand Triggers are only really good when you think you can hit them. I think Stand Triggers are much better in decks like Gavrail and uh, soon to be um, Fenrir with Revelations, um, just because they have a higher chance to hit said Stand Triggers. In a deck where you don't get more checks than your normal amount of checks, it makes it kind of difficult to do what you need to do uh, and get the stand. However, I will say, target a unit with big belly skill, get a stand trigger, watch your opponent weep. It's the greatest feeling ever. Anyways, that was my Great Nature deck profile from Imagine Your Goddess. This is The Professor, over and out.